this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask! Today, well, I thought I'd start in the Nintendo 64 version of the game, because there's something that I want to do here before going to the Great Bay over there, and it's only for this particular version that I need to do this now instead of later. But uh, you'll see, there's actually a fairly big change made at this point. But first, I need to uh, withdraw some money from the bank over here. I'll need 40 rupees in this version of the game for this part. Not just for what I'm going to buy on screen here, but also for uh, something else later on, too. So, yeah, let's get those. And then, let's see, here we got the trading hut. Or, or trading post. Okay, I was forgetting which one it was. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to get the, a red potion here. <laughs> Not to use personally, but for something else that's coming up. And I would imagine many of you have an idea of what I'm about to do here. So instead of going to Great Bay, I'm actually going to go east to the canyon over there. And the guy's going to, I think the guard's going to block my way anyway. Although, if you wear the Goan mask, the guard won't even touch you. So you don't have to worry about it. But let's see, I don't want to have the Goan mask out right now because... I'm going to be taking another means of getting over there. There we go. Yeah, let's finally put Epona to some real use outside of mini games and stuff. Yeah, she can't climb up here, but uh, we can climb on her and head on east. Now, you can't really do a whole lot in the canyon. I'll just tell you, this is where the fourth dungeon is. But uh, I want to come here to get one thing really quick that'll help us out in the near future. Okay, so you want to be going pretty fast on Epona as you're approaching those fences as close to perpendicular as possible. So that way you'll actually... Uh, what is it? Yeah, you'll actually jump over them. If I can get off, there we go. Do I need magic? Yeah, sure, why not? But uh, yeah, so... Yeah, just do that and you'll get over here just fine. Okay, so now I need yeah, that and that. And if you go right over here, ha-ha. Right, how's it going? Oh, well then how did you become a guard? Oh, okay. Reminds me of an episode of Star Trek. That was a good episode. Oh, yeah, I suppose you are. Hmm, if only we had an item that could help this guy out. Fortunately, we do! The red potion. There's actually another way you can get red potions a little cheaper than that, but I'm not using it here because it's inconvenient to do. But, uh, yeah, so we give him the red potion, and in exchange we get the Stone Mask, one of my favorite masks in the game, not just for, you know, uh, side quest usage, but also during combat as well. It basically makes you invisible to a lot of enemies. I mean, you'll, you'll see yourself just fine, but enemies will just ignore you. There are some enemies that don't, that can see through that. But it's still really, really useful. Not outside of, like, even, well, the obvious, like, stealth missions and things like that. But alright, so, we got the stone mask here. We get it more conveniently in the 3DS version of the game. So that's why I'm picking it up here now. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business here. Let's go back to where I left off in the 3DS version of the game in the Prime Universe. Okay, we're back in the 3DS version of the game. So let's start with withdraw withdrawing the rupees. Oh, no, I don't need to deposit. Withdraw there. And let's see, in this version, I only need 30 because I'm going to get a red potion in a cheaper location here. 
I'm going to be using the red potion in a different location as well. So, but I still do need to get it at some point in time. So, yeah, let's just go on roll past the guard there. And let's see, I want to head over to the observatory here to get a uh, moon's tier. And there's something else that I want to do as long as I'm here also. Let's see, get that out of the way. Get a Decker Mask so we can get back inside there as quickly as possible. And let's see. Well, the first thing that I want to do is before checking out the Skull Kid on top of the clock tower there, I want to go downstairs. I forget if I pointed it out when I came here before, but yeah, there's a Scarecrow here. So pull out your ocarina and play a song for the guy. And when you do that, you learn the Scarecrow's song. Oh, no, I already know about that. So yeah, just like Ocarina of Time, you play the song that you played for him and then it's, he pops up in certain locations and you can reach areas that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. The only thing with the Scarecrow song is that when you play the Song of Time, it'll be wiped. So if you're going to learn the Scarecrow song or start setting it, you need to uh, do it uh, at least at once in each cycle that you need to use it in. So, But I'm going to be staying on this cycle for quite some time. So we don't have to worry about that. There you go. Oh, I forgot I could use the gyroscope for this effect here too. Hmm. But all right. Maybe the moon is crying because it doesn't want to destroy the world, but Majora's Mask is making it do that. Hmm, I never thought about that. But all right. So we're done there. Let's get our moons here and keep on going through the the side quest of the, the trading sequence here. But uh, yeah, that is one thing I'm trying to do with this LP is whenever I'm doing things that I've already done before, I want to try and sprinkle in something different each time I do that. So that way it's not just purely the exact same thing that I just did before, although well, it is, but you know what I mean. But all right, get over here. Yeah, just uh, skim through whatever dialogue there. But uh, hey, I've got a nice jewel for you that I've given you like three times already. But maybe this time will be the charm. So yeah, just exchange the moons here for the land title deed. There we go. Oh yeah, you can fly away off screen. I, I wouldn't mind game. Ah, there we go. Hmm, I thought that didn't take quite as long in this version of the game. But whatever. Okay, we are done there. Let's head over to the Southern Swamp. There's actually quite a few things that I want to do while we're over here. So, let's see. The first thing I want to do is I want to head over to the potion shop there. You know what? As long as I've got it open, let's use the Deku Mask because I could probably get through the water quite a bit more quickly this way than if I just tried swimming without it. If only there were an item that would let me swim through water faster, but sadly I don't have one. But I do want to come over here to get a red potion. I didn't want to do this in the Nintendo 64 version because I was going to come back here anyway to get the Swamp Title Deed. And it was just quicker for me to get the red potion back at Clock Town instead of coming over here. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. So, yeah, it is a little cheaper here. But uh, either way, whatever you decide to do, I'll get a little refund there while I'm at it. And, yeah, let's just head back to, uh, yeah, the same spot there before so that we can use or get tr trade the title deeds there. So just move over a little bit there on the map. Excellent. 
And let's see, I also want to purchase a magic beam from this guy. So that's why I've got the extra 10 rupees on me in both versions of the game. Get up here, put on your Deku mask so this guy will actually do business with you. So yeah, just pick up your one magic beam I think will be good enough. If I had the money, I'd be tempted to buy another one just in case. But uh, I think we're fine here. So, okay, yeah, this guy wants the title deed. Give that to him for the swamp title deed. And we're going to have to get some spring water for that magic bean. So I'm going to take a moment to grab that and some other things while we're in the area. Hmm, I wonder if this water would work for that. Well, I gotta go over here anyway. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Can I get some magic? No? Wow, I am like really low on magic at this point. I'm almost tempted to go to like a fairy's fountain or something to get that taken care of, but oh well. Okay, so anyway, I wanna go over here by the swamp shooting gallery. However, whoa. There we go. Yeah, just try that, pal. Okay, so here we got a little pond, which is a good spot to get some water. So let's see. Okay, so I, I'm only going to be using the four bottles here. And let's see, in the water here, we, I should be able to get a fish or spring water. Didn't expect to get that on the first go, but okay. And I want to get as many fish as I can while I'm here. Let's see. Okay, so I've got one more. Nuts. Yeah, unfortunately, if you get water, only water, and you miss the fish, then you have to empty it and do that again. Let's see, I think that... Yeah, there we go. We got it. Okay, not bad, not bad. If you want to use the fifth bottle for a fish, that would be a good idea. But I'm just going to play along as though it's like the, uh, what is it? The Nintendo 64 version of the game. But all right, we're done with our business there. So yeah, let's get back to Clock Town and head over to Great Bay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go and uh, get my magic refilled because I'm probably going to need it coming up here. Maybe I should have done that before I played the Song of Time or something or other, but oh well. But yeah, we do need to be ready for that sort of thing. Oh, you're not worried about the Great Fairy this time, Tattle? I'm almost disappointed in you. But alright, nice that the Great Fairy restores magic in addition to health and puts me in the right direction to get out of here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if it would be faster for me to just go outside through the north exit now. It probably would be as long as I'm here. Normally, you're supposed to take the west exit to get over there, but uh, why not? Just do it while we're here. Um, or wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> Got the song rhythms mixed up in my head there. Or whatever I need. How's it going? Okay, so, oh, um, yeah, or, yeah, I'll do it now. Let me see, uh, there's something, some amusing stuff that you can do here that, uh, some people requested. So, uh, yeah, if you wear, whoa, no! Uh, am I gonna lose the fish or can I get it back? Game? Okay, phew, <laughs> that, that would have been bad. Okay, let's see, I wanted to become Deku Link there, and if you try to mount, Epona? Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, so let's go with the Gohan mask there. And then what? Uh, game? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just wanted to show you a little amusing dialogue with Epona there. But uh, we do need her to hop over some fences here. So let's uh, get on over there then. Let's see, so yeah, just go straight to the west. You want to be careful going down certain stairs because sometimes she'll just, I don't know, have trouble with it for some reason. Okay, you want to be perpendicular to the fence that you're trying to hop over and be going at full speed there. 
When the opponent is at full speed, she'll gradually start losing speed over time. So you gotta keep on, uh, yeah, using the, her stamina in order to get over these things. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, get down from here. And what do we got? Oh, okay. Okay, well, remember those locations for later, viewers. Let's see, I want to get back on Epona because there's some levers around here. But as long as you're on Epona, you're fine. Let's see, over here... Yeah, there's a quill statue, even though there's an owl statue just up ahead there. Yeah, it seems kind of pointless to me, but... Well, oh, I, uh... Hold on. Uh, can I... Turn around, turn around. There you go. Okay, let's see, if we go over here... Okay, I think we're safe now. To the left there, there's another one of those spider houses, but we need another item, or a couple other items to do some stuff in there. So I'm gonna save that for later. This guy, uh, well, I guess he just likes going fishing or something, but if you go back here, you can find another secret grotto. So yeah, let's uh, take care of that. Might as well get some Deku sticks. You never know, you might need them. Let's see, so if you go over here... Haha! -ha, more rupees! And I'll actually need those to buy a, an I another item. So that's all been taken into account with the... Uh, what is it? With the routing and all that here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Well, let's go talk to the fisherman while we're here. Why not? Maybe we he can, he can teach us some tips. Hey. How's it going? Oh, really? Well, I thought Zoras were fish, essentially. Oh, okay. Oh, darn. Oh, what do you mean, murky? I don't know. They got murlocs in there? Well, maybe. That's... Oh, hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about him. It's probably fine. But over here, yeah, we got a little seahorse. Reminds me of Soul Blazer. Oh, okay. Is that like Spectacle Rock? Oh, well, yeah, you could do that. What do you mean? Oh, uh, no, I don't. But, uh, but you, yeah, you talk to the guy, he gives you a little hint there of where you're supposed to go next. What do you mean I failed? I didn't even know the guy until I got here. But yeah, we do need to uh, take a picture there. But uh, I'll take your word for it that it's probably good or something's going on. I don't know. But, uh, all right, yeah, let's, uh, get up here, and let's see, I'll go for a little extra length on today's episode, since I had some, quite a bit of backtracking going on here. Well, I was going to read the sign, but not anymore. I think it said something like, hey, there's murky waters around me, or something. Warning, danger, danger, danger. Something, I don't know. But let's see, over here, you might have seen some seagulls floating above this guy. And, well, I'll just tell you, that's the guy the fisherman was talking about there. So, let's see. Let's uh, get behind him. This can be a little tricky to do. Whoop! Oh, you gotta get behind him. And it's kind of hard to change the angle without, um... There we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, like, use the L button to... Uh, turn the camera angle around without targeting the guy. So, once you do get behind him, though, just press the A button, hold it down, and push him over to shore. And then he can dry out, dying a horrible, withering death. I would think Zoras would want to be in the water for, like, recuperating and things like that. Oh, yeah, with the trees here. Let me see if I can do this. Maybe I need the Goron mask. No? Okay, I guess this tree doesn't work then. 
There's items you can get from certain trees if you roll into them. Ah, oh, there it is, like a Deku Nut there. Some people like to use that for farming Deku Nuts, but, uh... Me, personally? Nah, I prefer this area that I told you before in the southern swamp there. Okay, so he's a musician of some kind. Sure, why not? Oh, you can just stand up just fine? not really much of a guitar. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on? Maybe. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe. No, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? You seem to be pretty energetic for a dying man. Oh. Yay! And he died. But yeah. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. But yeah, he was saying, hey, heal his soul. Play your song of healing. And then, then he'll actually die. Seems to be taking quite a long time to do it, but okay. Wh why are you floating like that? Would you rather I send your body out to sea? I mean, I would think that's where most fish would die. Well, I mean, I suppose, you know, there's fishermen and cooks and chefs and stuff. Oh, hey, Ruto. Well, that's not her name here, but... Well, you'll see. So were you the one who... Who, uh... Gave her the eggs? Or... Whatever's going on? I don't want to know. I don't see a single piano over there... For the music... But anyway, play the Song of Healing. And just like with all the other times that we've used it, we get another mask. The Mighty Zora Mask. that lets you go through water a lot faster than we could swim without it. Hooray! And there's a lot of other uses for the Zora Mask, too. Maybe they'll confuse me for you, just like everyone else whenever I wear one of those masks. So what, you're going to use his, I don't know, guitar or whatever that thing is to bury him or mark his grave or something or whatever's going on, I don't know. But, uh, okay. Oh, hey, the sign's back. That's weird. Okay, yeah, it was exactly that. I forgot to even use the word danger at all. I was just, you know, being uh, sarcastic or something. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business there. We got that. So, yeah, let's head on back over here. Can I get over there? Haha, -ha, there we go. Yeah, let's uh save up here. But can we find a way to infiltrate the pirate's fortress? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.